beautiful soul travel you guys i'm marion so right now i'm in imani forest which is in the tonga region i got invited on a content creators trip with fahad from unzip tanzania is one of the co-founders so they're here creating content for their their tours so i'm tagging along and i'm going to show you guys what i experience and what i see this is such a beautiful national forest it's huge it is it took us about two hours just to get up here from the base of tonga or wherever the city was that we were at extremely bumpy bumpy road all the way up here so we got here late last night and now i'm here in the morning i can kind of like finally see the greenery how beautiful it is so i'm really excited about today we're going on a hike we're going see some waterfalls and some other things so if you're interested in seeing this content make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned these are Cridemia Hilta what is it so called? they are known as um, bush toilet papers. Porin sansa because they are very soft. Yeah. And they do not have any effects. So this you can use to wipe. Yeah. I've heard about this before. This is called bush toilet paper. What is like the Swahili name for it? The Swahili name? Swahili name the ah no. Or what is the, the scientific name? Cridemia hitta. Cridemian hitta. So this you can use to wipe your your butt. I'm gonna keep one of these. But I've heard about this and it's super soft. So is this what they use in the village? Yeah, in the villages, yes. It doesn't really even have a smell. So because we live in the forest, it's very common for people to go to, to the outside bush, yeah. and then just, yeah. just yeah. do their thing and just goes back into nature. Mm -hmm. I like that. Cool. How many times have you done this this hike? Oh my God. <laughs> That's like more than 100. Wow. You must be in really good shape. <laughs> <laughs> so all the, the, the plant that I show you, it was introduced. Mm -hmm. It's not that it was, it was, it was cultivated before. Like this one here, it's, even common in Dar es Salaam also. It's called, it's called uh, Lantana Camara. It's like a flower on, for ornament, mm -hmm. but it can also, if you plant it on your farm, mm -hmm. no insect will come. Mm. Yeah, so that's why it was introduced here. But now it's like it's an inv invasive species now. So Endangered species? Invasive. In inversive, what does that mean? It means that it, it can invade on a oh. particular area. Okay, in, yeah. invasive species. Yeah. So, what are like some uh, like the natural herbs that grow out here? Uh, we have some. As I told you yesterday, we have uh, Saint Paulia, which is the most popular one. Saint Paulia. Saint Paulia. Yes, it was. It's just a common flower for uh, ornament. Okay. But it was um, discovered by Germans. Mm -hmm in 1902 mm -hmm. so the the, na the name St. Paulia come from a district officer okay. uh, he was a German ruler so they named it after him so they took it to I Europe. don't like that <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a scientific way you know, yeah, yeah 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 so they took it to Europe and then planted it so there are many kinds of St. Paulia nowadays so what but is the, the medicinal property of it no it's just for uh, ornament Oh no, I'm asking about like medicinal Plants. herbs here for yeah, healing. Yeah, yeah, we have for like healing the body. Okay, so we have like we have let me remember the name. Uh, what's it called? We have Sambara Viagra. Mm -hmm. Yes, bamboo. Golden. Golden bamboo. Ah, you know that I can Mm. 
Yeah, we have paper cup pencils. It's Osambara hey, Viagra. So yeah, it's, it's a herb for men. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, the Viagra. Viagra. Yeah, yeah. Everything good to you. And also, the fern. Do you know the fern plant? Fern, yes, yeah, I love yeah. fern. We have it here. It's also used as a medicine, also. Really, I never knew that. You have to take the heart of the uh, of the log okay. inside. You take this something is slimy, uh -huh. and then you mix with water. You drink. Oh. So if you have a problem with uh, gas, yes, some people usually have. Did you put the thing here? Yeah. Yeah, she did. <laughs> you have a problem with gas, mm -hmm. so if you drink it, yeah. So. My collection. Mm. Reserve started. Uh, they had uh, like seven uh, thousand hectares. So the tea plantation company had like one thousand hectares of forest. Mm. So they gave to a manager reserve. Mm. So one of the places is here. So the tea company calls this falls Mavic Falls mm -hmm. at, because at that time this area it was theirs, but now. It's under the manager reserve, so the manager reserve calls it the Rema waterfalls. Mm. Yeah. So we're supposed to go down there. Mm -hmm. No, I can't make that. Why? I'm like I'm, I'm like terrified of going down things. coming up. So the one the one that we just came down, is that like is steep? Is it the same level of steepness the one we just came down? The, the hill we just came down. Yeah. Is that the, is this steeper or was that one steeper? It's the same. But this one, there's another way there. It's less steep. Let me show you. Okay. Fad, no some kind of sugar. Okay, that looks, this looks more doable because <laughs> I'm like nervous. I'm not going to record this part because I need to focus on not falling.
just made it down to the first waterfall on this hike and as you can see it is not as big but it's still really beautiful and I was just thinking about like the journey down and how much I was like afraid of coming down but how I'm always constantly pushing past my fear especially when it comes to traveling you know going to places where I don't know people I came here alone and know people and I've slowly been like building relationships um, and challenging myself to face my fears regardless of how I feel because I don't really like going hiking where it's like really steep down but I did it if I didn't come I wouldn't have experienced this beautiful view so these are the things that you experience when you step outside of your comfort zone when you force yourself when you force yourself to experience something new, to face your fears, you you literally see, you get to see the unknown. That is what life is all about, the unknown. to see them <laughs> at night. <laughs> so. I'm morning up. How Ah. Oh. I'm going to put the <laughs> it does reflect. Camera <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It's gonna bite you. No. No? That means no? You're telling us to touch. He's able to see them at night. I don't know how he spotted them. It's pitch dark out here. Oh, I touched you. Yeah. Who's touching it? Bahaya. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, 
Lakini ni kiti. Ade basi wa yu mtu. Twende wewe. Ya. Ya ya sio ndogo. Yes, the first light to be shiny. Oh, that's huge. Why don't you? So, <laughs> <laughs>